finding the 2023 versions of 2022 fantasy football players presented to you by Fantrax. This year's Jamal Williams, aka a player that is perceived as the team's running back two, drafted late, but guided by touchdown scoring. Is Damian Harris, the Buffalo Bills, score the second most points per game in 2022? It's a great offense. In 2021, Harris had 46 red zone touches in 15 games. Singletary, who was out of that system, had 40 last season. Damian Harris also scored 15 touchdowns in 2021. This year's TJ Hawkinson, a.k.a. a tight end that lands in a new home and sees big volume leading to big production, is Darren Waller, who could be the New York Giants' number one targeted player. This guy saw 145 targets in 2020 and 117 in 2019. He's had some major receiving yard upside in fantasy production on his resume. This year's Jarek McKinnon, a.k.a. a late-round running back that has high receiving and touchdown upside will be Leonard Fournette, and I know we don't know where he is going to land, but he could be utilized in this sort of way. He's had 73, 69, 36, and 76 receptions the last four seasons, six-plus touchdowns, and five out of six seasons played. This year's Tony Pollard, a.k.a. a mid-to-late-round running back, perceived as the team's running back two, but has a career year. I think will be Antonio Gibson. Eric Bieniemy is now the offensive coordinator. He can utilize Gibson kind of like he did with Jarek McKinnon. Gibson's had two out of three seasons played with double-digit touchdowns. He's had 46, 42, and 36 receptions the last three seasons. He's the most versatile playmaker in that backfield. This year's Tyree Kill, A.J. Brown, Devontae Adams, a wide receiver that is in a new home and balls out, is going to be Calvin Ridley. Trevor Lawrence took a huge jump in his sophomore season. Calvin Ridley has had a 143 target, 1,374 receiving yard, 9 touchdown, and 18.8 fantasy points per game season under his belt. He's consistently earned targets in his career. He's a former first-round talent. I think he is the alpha in this system. This year's Geno Smith, a.k.a. a veteran quarterback that's likely faded in redraft but turns his career around. Russell Wilson, who's had a history of fantasy success with 10 out of 11 seasons at 17-plus fantasy points per game, 5 of 11 seasons at 20-plus fantasy points per game. I think Sean Payton turns this offense around. Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, Marvin Mims Jr., Tim Patrick, Greg Dulcich. This is a decent core. This year's Deontay Johnson, a wide receiver that is going to see a good target share but has low upside, poor fantasy scoring, probably low touchdowns. I think will be Juju Smith-Schuster. Mac Jones only threw 14 total wide receiver touchdowns last season. Could be good volume, low production.